All right. Well, Ashley, thank you so much for doing this with me. I'm so excited. And I think we'll just kind of start with sharing a little bit about you and your family and why you wanted to start your own business online. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Thank you for having me. I'm so excited. I'm so thankful and blessed. Um, so I am Ashley. I'm a mama. Um, I'm married. I've got three kids under the age of five. I am busy, busy. And I had been in healthcare for 15 years. I've always been super like independent and career driven and always all about like wanting to level up, climb that ladder. And then I had kids <laughs> and everything changed. I was like, how am I supposed to leave this teeny tiny little baby at the daycare or the sitters? But I didn't know that there was an option. So I just kept doing it. I did that with baby number one and baby number two. And then I had baby number three and I had so much anxiety and guilt. And I was like, I cannot do this anymore. Um, so kind of the final straw for me was after baby number three was born, my son, um, he had a procedure that he needed done that insurance didn't cover. And I didn't have the money for it. And I had to ask to borrow money. And I said, like, right then and there, never again. Like, I never want to be in this position. It felt awful, just not being able to provide for my kids. So um, you know, at the time I was working 12 hour shifts and I just didn't understand why I was busting my butt. I was doing the overtime, but we were still drowning in debt. I was still drowning in all that mom guilt. So I was like, something's got to give. And I saw it all over the place. And I was like, why not me? Like, why not? So I kind of just had to get out of my own way because I wanted more for us. Mm -hmm. That's so awesome. Yeah. So, um, I, I love that one story you said that one time about you uh, and the pick, picking your daughter up from school, creating a piece of content, how you yeah. could share that. Cause that was such a really, you know, awesome story for moms to hear that, how you can just do this business 100% from anywhere around your family. Yeah. So when I was looking for a side gig, I've tried so many different things. I've tried different makeup and health and wellness. And I, I had my own boutique for a while and I call those like, they were kind of like a band aid. like it did help. It brought in some extra income, but it pulled me away from my kids even more. Mm -hmm. So when I first heard about this, honestly, I thought digital marketing or anything in this space was super time consuming. And I already was stretched thin. That was like the one thing I didn't want to sacrifice more of was my time. So um, I heard, you know, everybody talks about a two hour workday, but to me, like the most beautiful part about that two hour workday is I can split it up. Mm -hmm. And I do like, I listen to our daily video while I'm doing the breakfast dishes after I get my girls out the door for school. And then I make a piece of content in the school pickup line while I'm waiting for my girls to be released. Cause the baby's usually content in the car seat. And then I go live during nap time. So I'm able to break this up and put it in the pockets of my day. Um, like while being myself, like with, sometimes I do it with a baby on my hip and peanut butter on my shirt, you know, and the toys and the noise and chaos and everything, because that's just me, you know, and it works for that. See, that's what I love, right? Because you just get to do life and just your online business fits in around your life. And to me, that's what's so important. I love that. So let me ask you a question. Has you noticed like changes from like your stress and then just like your overall well-being from having your own online business? Oh my gosh, so much. Honestly, I didn't realize like how stressed I was, but looking back, I feel like the person that I was, stress was like probably radiating off of me. Like somebody would stand next to me and be like, oh, like she is a mess. Um, but I just now like, I, it turns out like I wasn't a bad mom. I was just burnt out, you know? Like I was so overwhelmed. I was constantly nagging at my husband. I was snapping at my kids because I was stretching myself too thin. And so when I like took control of that and figured out like my time is valuable and I can use it better, I've been able to be that mom that like my kids can play with Play-Doh now and I'm not sitting there with an eye twitch, you know, like they can have loud dance parties and I'm not just like, okay, is it over? You know, they get to just be kids being kids. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm not nagging my husband for spending money at lunch that we don't have. And so, yeah, absolutely. The stress, the peace of mind, like the ability to just breathe is something that I, first of all, didn't even realize how much I was lacking it. 
until I'm getting to experience it. And I'm like, man, I can't, I don't know how I went so long without it. I don't want to do it again. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, that's a really good point. So why the Legacy Builders program? Oh man, there, you know, I needed something, like I said, I I spent 15 years in healthcare. I did like a little bit of everything, but always in healthcare. So anything digital marketing, anything like in this space felt scary. Like it was a brand new world. So I needed something that was going to give it to me, like in bite-sized pieces that wasn't going to feel overwhelming. That was going to give me support that I needed. Um, so that's, uh, there's a couple reasons I love like the coaching that we get throughout the week, but even more than that, like I love the daily videos. I know I touched on that a little bit, but just having them, like I said, in the bite-sized pieces, it makes it so much more manageable for me. And then of course, like I'm not good at tech. Like my daughter runs the TV remote better than I do. I am so bad. So the fact that we have like tech support, I was like, okay, (laughs) but I can do that. Um, And it just felt, you know, I just felt, it felt right. I felt aligned with it. I could see the biggest thing is I could see the value in it. I wasn't, you know, people say you buy a course to sell a course. And this is like truly more than that. There's so much value in it that I don't ever like, it's crazy when somebody purchases this from me, I just know like now the sky's the limits for them. And I can't wait to see what they do with it. And I know that for me too, but there's so much value packed in this that I was like, dang, this is definitely more than of course, you know, it's, I love it's, that. it's so much more. Yes. So let's talk about the community part of the Legacy Builders program. What do you think of the community? Uh-oh. I honestly was like overwhelmed with how incredible it is. Because I've done, like I said, I've done like networks before, network marketing. I've done MLMs. And of course, you get like support from your people, your team in that. But it felt like like support for a reason, you know, because when you make money, your upline makes money and then their upline. And when you rank up and the CEO and the founder and everybody else above you is like earning off of your effort. So the fact that in our community, it's not like that. The people that are pouring into each other in there are simply just pouring into each other because they're like genuine people. You know, there's no like ulterior motives. There's no, they're not expecting anything out of it. Um, And I just love, honestly, I was surprised, like there's people in the community that I've never met, right, in real life, other than through the community, and we talk every single day. And like, Mm -hmm. I found so many friendships and support outside of a business, you know, it's touched like my life in that way, too. Yeah, that's so cool. Yeah, Yeah. you realize how many people are heart centered when you're in a community that people are helping each other and expect nothing in return. And I love that. Absolutely. Yeah. I yeah. Love that. So what is something that you've learned um, in your process of, of an online business and that you didn't expect to learn? Um, let's see. Well, I, you know, honestly, the attraction marketing part of it, because like I said, again, going back to it, I, with the different like MLMs and stuff that I've done so many times, I've heard people say, fake it till you make it. <laughs> like that's what I did. That's what I used to do. Like I'm I'm not very outgoing. I'm shy. I'm an introvert. And so having to slide into people's DMs and be like, "Hey, we host a party. Hey, I'm so close to my goal." I didn't like that. It just didn't sit well for me. Um and then with this, nobody's ever told me to fake anything. In fact, like you've told me to do the exact opposite. Like Ashley be you. Like it's okay if the baby's making noise. And I'm like, okay. And I remember like specifically one of my, I think it was like one of my first three times I ever went live. Um, my baby at the time, he was three months old. I had one daughter at preschool. One was set up with her snacks and her coloring stuff. And I was like, okay, this is as good as it's going to get. And I hit the button to go live and the baby woke up from a nap. My daughter was climbing all over me. I got a notification that I had to go get my daughter early from preschool. I was literally sweating. I was like trying to pat the baby. I was trying to talk to my people and I just kept apologizing. I was like, I'm so sorry, you guys. And then I felt so discouraged. I got in my car. I drove to preschool had my phone in the passenger seat, got my daughter pulled up, picked up my phone and seen that I had made $600. Oh 
helicopters while buckling my daughter in her car seat. And somebody messaged me and she's like, I needed to see your live. And her words were that you could do this amongst the chaos. And I was like, what? And it was like kind of right then. And I was like, you know what? Like, I'm not going to try to be perfect because I'm not like I am a hot mess, but you can be like a hot mess success, which is what I've learned. So with the, that, you know, attraction marketing, I didn't know what that meant, but really I just get to be me and I get to, you know, my hope is that I get to inspire other people with that. And I think that's what I'm getting to do. Mm, gosh, I love that story. Wow. Because yeah. that is, it's so true. So many people try to build a business and they get exhausted because they try to be somebody else that they're not. And, and when you understand the power of attraction marketing that you just get to be you, it makes it fun too. <laughs> it yeah, it really pressure. does. Definitely easier. And, you know, like you really find your crowd, your peeps, mm, right? You do. Then, and after that, I would, you know, the babies would be making noise. I'd be like, oh, sorry, guys. And they're like, oh, it's fine. We love hearing it. And I'm like, you are my people. Like, see, you are my people. <laughs> yes. Oh, my goodness. Yes. So how long have you been um, doing this? Um, name? So I started the end of, I started September of last year. So I'm 11 months and I've made $98,000 doing this, which is so crazy to me, like in the best way. I, I'm not kidding. 12 months ago, if, before I like heard about this and started this, if you would have pulled me aside, I was burnt out. I was working 12 hour shifts. I was literally, so my shift started at 6 a.m. I was leaving at 5 a.m. I was sneaking out while my kids were still asleep. So I didn't wake them up. I was lucky, you know, after a 40 minute drive, there and back and shift report. I was lucky if I got 20 minutes with my kids before they went to bed. So if you would have pulled me aside, like in that moment and been like, Ashley, there's a way that you're about to like step into this season of your life. There's a way that you can be present. You can work two hours a day from your phone and you can be that mom first. I probably would have laughed in your face. I would have been like, there's no way you're like, is this April fools? Like, what is this? I cannot tell you like how much, again, like I didn't realize I was missing my husband and I, we were, I was picking up overtime. So I was doing those shifts, but then I was also picking up night shifts too. So there was occasions when he'd be on his way home from work and I'd be on my way to work and we'd literally overlap, like pull over on the side of the road, haven't seen each other all day, give each other a hug and a kiss and be like, okay, hey, I'll see you in another 13 hours. Good luck with the kids, you know? And it just wasn't the way, but I didn't know any better. I didn't know. So what's it like now? Cause you're home all the time and yeah. what's it like now it's crazy. I truthfully like didn't know that there was this level of flexibility at all. Like I, I've been present for every single field trip, every doctor appointment, every birthday, every like since starting this, you know, my oldest daughter, she's five years old. Um, and she's starting kindergarten and Aww. I missed the first four Christmases of her life because mm -hmm. nurses don't get Christmas off, you know? And I, again, didn't know there was another way, but man, I was there for like Christmas this year. Like that was the best feeling in the world. I was there for Christmas. I could afford Christmas, you know, I just, it's been so great. We're going on vacation at the end of the month. And I literally like, you know, time freedom, financial freedom, people say that all the time. But the ultimate example is um, the resort that we're staying at called me and they said, hey, we have a gap day. And I was like, what is that? Like, I've never even heard of that. And they said that, you know, the day that we check out, there's nobody there the next day. So there's two gaps, two days. And they said, we'll offer it to you for half off. And I was like, well, hey, like, I don't have anywhere to be. I don't have a job I got to go back to. Sure, hook us up. So we're just, you know, getting to fly by the seat of our pants. I used to be so like controlling and micromanaging. And I think it was because I felt so out of control. Mm -hmm. And now I just get to, yeah, what's life going to bring us today? <laughs> you know? And what's nice is because some people have freedom like that, but they don't have that financial pressure off. So how yeah. is it like to have that freedom and not have that financial pressure? Because I remember you made one post in the community, how you were able to pay off a credit card. Yeah. I've actually, in fact, I'm going to give you a little update on that. I just paid off my Suburban um, three years early, three years early. I've paid off $30,000 worth of debt just in the last six months. Like we never, 12 months ago, we didn't even have an emergency fund. 
-hmm. Like we couldn't get gas and groceries in the same day. And like $30,000 worth of debt gone. Like what? (laughs) You know? Awesome. Oh, yeah. And you are with your family. Yeah. Like I haven't even had to sacrifice the most important part. Yes. I I mean, I I say it all day, every day. Yes. I've made $98,000, but I would give away every dime of that. If it meant that I got these moments, I wanted these so much, like, and I didn't know it was in the cards for me. Yeah. The moments are priceless. The money is just a byproduct to get the moments. (laughs) Totally. Love that. So what is one piece of advice that you would give others that are wanting to launch their own online business? Hmm. For the longest time, I sat around like jealous. I sat around seeing people on social media and I was like, oh, they're going on vacation again. They're out to dinner. She just got a new outfit, got her hair done. It must be nice. And stop, like just stop being jealous and be inspired because it is nice. It is nice and you deserve it. Like literally every single person deserves that, deserves all of those things. So, um, you know, your time is valuable. And that's something that I never experienced before, especially in healthcare, especially in healthcare, like being in a pandemic, you know, we got sick and they're like, you know what, we'll just put you on the COVID ward because you're already sick. And I was like, wait, what about my sick kids? And they're like, nope, like not our problem. I was like, well, it's my problem. So, you know, your time is valuable and it is okay to want more. I, for the longest time, thought that by saying, like, I wanted more out of life, it meant that I was ungrateful for the things that I do have. And that's not the case at all. Like, it is okay to want more out of life. Um, and there is a way that you can be present and provide. Like, you don't have to choose. That That's just what I, like, I want everybody to know that because I didn't. It took me years to accept that. Mm, that is so good. Yeah. So you're almost at 100K. You're what? 2000 away from hundred K 98,000. Does that sound crazy to say? It does. It's, it is crazy. You know what? Like in December, um, our 90 day run that was going on in December of last year. Um, part of it was talking about new year's goals and resolutions. And I literally wrote it down. Like I'm old school. I have my paper planner and I wrote it down in here that in 2024, I wanted to hit six figures just by the end of the year. I had no idea. Honestly, at that time, it felt big. It felt big and scary and out of reach. And I had no idea that I'd be doing it, let alone before, like I gave myself 12 months to do it. And here we am, here we are. I'm doing it in August, like months early. Every single resolution that I wrote down going through that 90 day thing, I've checked off, Mm -hmm. which is crazy, crazy, crazy. Wow. So let's talk about that real quick. So we do 90 day runs inside our community. How do you feel about them? I know you talked about the daily videos, which that's part of it, but how else has it really helped you with reaching your goals, having the the 90 day runs that our community does? I love them. I, when I joined, I joined like smack dab in the middle of one. So I feel like I have like a certain like special love for them. But again, like you said, the daily videos, just the fact that I can plug in like on the bite size. And I feel like each 90 day run, cause I think I've been what, like part of three ish of them now. So mm-hmm. each one is different. Like there, there's still just the fact that these are designed to teach you like how to make 30 K in 90 days is mind blowing. Um, but the fact that there's still like, you still find more to pour into us, you know, you still like this one, you you know, talking about how to master that two hour workday. Yes, please sign me up like two hours. Absolutely. I'm there. So, and I literally, let me show you again. I told you like I'm old school, but I, these are my, these are my 90 day challenge. See 90 day challenge day one. Here's my goals, right? Like I plug in, I am like front row. If you were in an auditorium, I'd be front row with my pen and paper. And it works, you know, like that's what I want people to know because you say it, I say it, you need to be coachable and you need to be consistent because look what, why wouldn't you when Mm -hmm. it works, you know? Mm -hmm. Wow. That's good. So what's your, what's your next goal? Oh man, I don't know. I have to come. Like I was actually just looking at that because all of my resolutions for all of 2024 are done. So the only thing I have left on my resolutions is actually for 2025. And I'm, I want to take my mama to the Kentucky Derby. (laughs) 
Oh, next month, that. next year. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. Good. Oh. Well, thank you so much for doing this with me and for sharing with people. I love it. I You are one of the nicest people I've mm-hmm. met. And I just love that you are just a mom and, you know, you just, you just love your children and you've not tried to be anybody but that. And that is why you've, you know, you've had success. So what is um, one last thing that you could leave people with to help them, you know, make that decision to want to go design their life? Yeah. Oh my gosh. I mean, when they say like the sky's the limits, actually like the only thing limiting you is you. So when you can get out of your own way, like you cannot even imagine what is waiting for you. So within this community, there's so much support. Um, and I remember like you had one of your mentorings, I think it was one of your Monday mentorings. Um, and I hopped on and I asked my questions and I was super nervous and I raised my hand on the zoom and I unmuted myself and I said, Hey, Michelle, like, these are my goals. This is what I'm doing. It's, it's working a little bit, but I want more. I want it to work more. And you were like, okay, do this, this, and this. And I was like, okay. And I did this, this, and this. And I had a $3,000 week. And I was like, uh, what? <laughs> like, I'm gonna listen to this lady. So if you guys can be coachable and you can be consistent and you want more, which by the way, it's okay. It's okay to want more. Remember this is it. If you can be coachable and consistent, I truly like from the bottom of my heart, believe that it is only a matter of when, not if this will be successful for you. If you Mm -hmm. can do those two things, this is it. If you can do that, like this is the thing for you. Oh, yes. And we should, nobody should settle. Yeah. Yes. So Ashley, thank you so much for doing this with me. I really appreciate you so much. And let me know as soon as that one zero k shows up <laughs> any day any day yes thank you thank you so much of for course. doing this i appreciate you and i'll see you inside the community thank you